We'll guide you through how to fix your mic not working in Discord. If you find this guide useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. This can be super annoying as it means you can't go and talk to people as they can't hear you. First of all, come to the bottom left and click on the gear or cog icon to open up the user settings. You want to scroll down on the left here into app settings and click on voice and video. Now, what you want to do is come into input device. Go and select the correct one. Make sure you don't just use the default one. I always like to just go and, go and select it directly. If you can't go and find your mic here, then keep watching, we'll cover that in a moment. If you can though, go and select it. Then go and increase the input volume. And what you want to do is go and do a mic test. So click on let's check and you should be able to go and hear yourself back. If you can, then great. However, if it isn't working, you can't hear yourself or it's not showing up in this list. Then what you want to try doing is unplugging the mic from your computer and then replugging it in the entire cable. Then go and see if that goes and works. If it wasn't shown in the list, then now go and see if it is and go and select it and go and do a test. For the next fix, whether the mic is not showing in the list or if it is and it isn't working, what you need to do is come to the bottom right, right click on the sound icon and click on sound settings. What you want to do is come into input device, go and see if the device is showing up here. If it is, go and select it. Then try turning up the volume and go and see if that solves the problem. If the mic isn't showing up at all in here, then it's probably an issue with the mic. You could try using a different port, otherwise try on a different computer to go and see if there's some type of problem with it. If you find that the microphone is working fine in other programs and it's just Discord, then what you want to do is go and uninstall Discord and reinstall it. After it has, you can go back to discord.com, download it, reinstall it and sign back in and hopefully it'll be fixed.